Hello everyone and welcome to Lobajad of the Kuhn. Today we have a review of the Figma Overwatch Zenyatta. Not too long ago I reviewed Figma Diva from Overwatch and that figure is amazing. So I do have high hopes that Zenyatta lives up to that figure. Let's start by looking at the box. So we got ourselves a very simplistic box. Uh, still plastered with some Overwatch, Blizzard logos. In the back some great promotional material, but the box is definitely bigger than I expected. Probably because of one particular accessory. Before we continue with the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon to always know when the next video is up. There will be more amazing videos and playlists in the description below and in the cards above. And don't forget to check out my Patreon account when you can help support the channel so we can get more action figure reviews at a timely manner. Now let's continue with the video. Follow me, I'll cover you. In opposition to Diva, this figure actually brings a lot of accessories, but before we go check them out, let's first check out the figure itself. Now the figure has some weird proportions, but it is very faithful to what we saw on Overwatch, it's Zenyatta, it's a robot, kind of a Zen Guru robot, and I definitely enjoy the proportions that they put in. Uh, the paint job is extremely clean, it's very well done, uh, it's definitely top notch, what we can expect from Figma, and I like him. Overall, the looks of the figure are definitely pleasing to watch. One thing that makes this figure stand out is definitely the mechanical detail that it has. A lot of tubes coming out, a lot of small mechanical details that actually just basically mold it. But they do give you the illusion of this is a very detailed robot. So in terms of looks overall, definitely, definitely it's an impressive figure that does not disappoint. Especially that paint job, that silver metallic paint job. Is a bit special. Let's start looking at these accessories and let's start by the hands. We have two meditating hands, two fist hands, two grabby hands, two open hands, two sharp hands, two pointy hands, one victory pose hand, and finally the two hands together in a concentration pose. We got ourselves an instruction booklet that is actually very detailed because we have so many accessories, so many different parts that need to fit with each other that is very important to use it. We got our Figma bag and we got an extra ball hinge for the hands and it's important to store that in the bag otherwise you're going to lose it because it did not come in a small plastic bag. Then we got our Figma stand, of course the best stand in the market with this little accessory part that we already are custom to from Figma, everything is the same, except we actually have another little part to connect one of the big accessories of this figure. So we have this new adapter that allows us to put in his ultimate. Speaking of his ultimate, so we have that adapter part in, so we can connect this effect part right here. So that's supposed to be his transcendence, and now we can plug the stand on his back and that's it we got ourselves his ultimate as you can see it can look very cool then we got his orbs that are supposed to be floating around his neck they're very detailed they're very well done now of course we got this little plastic part to plug it to his back and then plug the orbs and then we got this little attack effect part that is supposed to connect to that orb necklace that I just showed you. Basically you remove one of these orbs, just unscrew it and then you connect the effect part in the same place and you can connect to him to give the idea that he's throwing one of these orbs. Quickly to show you to connect that necklace to him we just plug it on the second hole on his back closer to the head and then finally we need to clip 
the necklace in. And that's it. It's very simple, but it looks fragile, so be careful. But that's not all, not all at all. We have two other effect parts. One is the healing orb and the other one is the damage orb. Both of these are to use with other Figma Overwatch figures and they look really, really cool. I do like the detail. It comes with this arm that you connect the fat part there and then you connect this to another Figma stand for another Figma figure like for example my Figma Diva. Link to review in the cards above or in the description below. And finally we have two extra leg parts. Now these exist to have his laid straight because the legs that he comes with doesn't allow you to straighten his legs completely. They are used for that meditating position so if you want other positions you need these extra leg parts. To put it in you need to remove his boot and then remove the lower part of his leg. Unfortunately the joint always comes off the, with the, that leg part that we want to replace. So you'll need to remove it and put it back on the main leg. Be careful putting it in the correct position otherwise it will hinder the articulation and make it harder to remove it. Now inside the legs there's markings telling you which one is the right leg and which one is the left leg so don't worry about that issue but be careful with the connection maybe use some heat to make it easier for the joint to get in and out of the holes. Now that we have that leg plugged in we can just plug the boot and there you go we have one of the straight legs by the way he stands well on his own after you replace both legs and that's it for accessories so let's look at his articulation and now comes the interesting part let your fingers get in there and have a good old rubber dub so I've left one of the legs in one form and the other one in the other form so we can easily check it out without being doing it twice. Now we have a ball hinge to ball joint system on the head. It's the classic system that Figma uses. Gives us good range of motion. I love the mechanical detail all around that neck. Just amazing. Uh, by the way, speaking of the neck, it does have a ball joint that allows this even better range of motion overall on this head. Um, but then we got some changes because it's a robot we have just a peg with a hinge to this shoulder not the, a ball joint to ball hinge as we normally do and also no butterfly joint then we have this part of the arm is just pegged so it allows us rotation on that bicep and then of course we have a circular hinge on the elbow and a ball hinge on the hand now for this we have a ball joint to ball hinge system allows us to crunch this far go back this far and rotate the joint can get easily exposed but because he's a robot it doesn't really look weird or strange so we have no waist rotation at all but we have ball joint to ball joint system on those legs so uh, gives us a decent spread. Remember, each one of these legs has different parts right now. Can kick forward this far. Doesn't kick back almost at all because of the uh, skirt. Let's call it a skirt. Do rotate on the fly. Uh, because of that little part there. And then this is basically just a circular hinge. With the straight leg comes more or less at 90 degrees. And in the other leg, of course it comes a lot more than 90 degrees that's the idea uh, it's, it's a cool looking feature we have a rotation on that boot a circular hinge on the foot plus this good range of motion a pivot and a toe bend the articulation on this figure is really good even if we need to change some parts to get all of it when I first saw this figure, I actually thought it looked a little bit bland, but after playing around with it, I'm definitely surprised. It brings so much stuff, and the articulation is really good, even though I think Zenyatta is a boring character. At least in the game, because I don't play healers, and let's face it, is he really a healer? Or is the DPS pretending to be a healer? Hmm?
Let's look at his size. Oh yes. Figma Overwatch Diva. Figma Overwatch Reaper. Figma Overwatch Tracer. Figma Goblin Slayer. It's a bit special. Figma V0 Ram. Like most Overwatch figures, unfortunately this is a little bit expensive, but it's still a very good looking figure uh, with great accessories that is very faithful to the source material, so it's getting my low budget of the coup seal of approval. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to leave a like and tell me what you think about this figure in the comment section below. Also, if you are not a subscriber yet, subscribe and hit that little bell icon to always know when the next video is up. There's more amazing videos just like this on the description below, in the end screens and the cards above because YouTube stops suggesting small creators and related videos. So the only way you can find related videos and more reviews like this is in those places. And now I leave you with the preview of the next review. See you next time.